Welcome back Undertakers. Today's video is going to be super easy. I figure with most of us being home and the kids being out of school and we're home with them, why not show you something easy to do that the kids can either do on their own or with a little help from you they can put this together and it's really good to eat once you're done. And it's real simple. It's called five cup salad. Some places call it ambrosia but there's only a few ingredients and really easy to do. So you're going to need some mini marshmallows, some coconut, some crushed pineapple, some mandarin orange slices, and some sour cream. And, you know, the recipe is one cup of each of these things, but you just play around with it. Like, I'm going to use this whole can, which is going to be more than a cup, and this is going to be more than a cup. So you just kind of blend it together. Trust me, it's going to work out fine. And for some reason, you know, somebody out there doesn't like coconut, leave it out. And there's also, I've seen people add things to this that I'm not putting in today. Sometimes I've seen people put like some maraschino cherries in there. I personally like it with some crushed up walnuts, but I don't put it in now. Wait till you serve it and sprinkle them on top. Otherwise, the walnuts sit in there and they get soggy and then they're kind of gross. And plan for an overnight for this. So you'll put this together one day, leave it in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next day is when it's going to be good because the marshmallows need to sit in there overnight and they're going to kind of soak up all the extra liquid that's in there from the pineapple and things like that so they'll get big and puffy and soak up all that juice and stuff. So don't think you're just going to throw this together and then sit down and eat it. Make sure you give yourself that extra time. So basically we're going to throw these five ingredients into a bowl and stir them up. So let me show you how. Alright, step number one. We're just going to open up these cans and we're going to drain the juice out of the fruit and then put them into the bowl. All right, now I've got a 16 ounce container of sour cream. We're going to put that right in on with our fruit right there. All right, now I've got a 7 ounce container or bag of coconut. And it's, it's two cups worth, so I know half a bag is a cup. And you can adjust that up or down depending on how much you like or dislike coconut. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the half a bag, so about a cup in there. Alright, then I've got a one pound or 16 ounce package of the little mini marshmallows. I'm going to go with at least half of that bag. You can also adjust this up or down. So that's what makes this so great for kids. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're not making an A-bomb or anything here. This is just a little bit of fruit salad with some marshmallows in it. So you can't really mess it up. And then just give that a stir. Make sure it's mixed really, really well. And that's all there is to it. You dump those things in there. I did end up using the entire bag of one pound of marshmallows when in there. There's what it should look like. So you shouldn't see any liquid. It should be pretty dry in here. But everything should have, you know, should be coated with the sour cream and everything. Now there's plenty of juice that's in the fruit that's in there and the oranges and the pineapple that's in there. So the marshmallows will sit here overnight, absorb all that juice. It'll look a little different. It'll be bigger tomorrow when we open this up. So I used every container except the the coconut. I only used half of the bag. Everything else was the full can or full bag. Everything went in here. You stir it up. That's all there is to it. Perfect for kids. So now I'm going to cover this, put it in the refrigerator, and we'll check on it in the morning. All right, so here we are the next morning. Here's our bowl. Ready for the big reveal. There we go. That's they don't get huge, but the marshmallows have gotten larger. And you can see they've soaked up some some of the juice that's in there, so they break real easy. So you gotta want to be careful if you stir it up, just kind of gently fluff it. But you can tell they soaked up all the liquid, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So it came out just right. So there you can see, there's nothing to it. Super easy. So whether you're in lockdown or whether this you watch this later. You know, this is an easy, easy thing to make with the kids. You need a can opener and a spoon to stir it, and that's all it takes. 
So whether you want to make it for just staying at home, this is also great if you're going to have like a cookout or go on a picnic or you know any occasion like that, it's really good. Or just make a batch just to have it home for when life gets back to normal, the kids come home from school. You know, this is a, an easy little snack to eat and it tastes really good. So, once those marshmallows absorb all the juice and stuff in there, mmm. The fruity and the marshmallowy, if you've never had it, it's really, really good. Now, if for some reason you don't like or you're allergic to pineapple or the orange slices, you could always trade it out for something else. You know, maybe get a can of like diced peaches and drain the, the, drain the juice off of that and use the peaches instead. Or maybe do like a couple cans of um, like fruit cocktail, put those in here. So use what you have at home. You know, a lot of the stuff, you know, you may have, everyone's got a bag of coconuts sitting in their pantry somewhere probably and some sort of cans of fruit and probably some sour cream. So it doesn't take much to throw this together. And like I say, traditionally it's with the pineapple and the, and the orange slices, but you can mix that up if you want to. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you guys are all safe. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.